Hello everybody and welcome to this Let's Play video for the latest in the Elder Scrolls series, number 5, Skyrim. Now, you are joining me as I fire up the game for the very first time. I've not actually played yet, um, and other than a few videos, screenshots uh, and uh, a couple of interviews that I've seen, um, I've tried very hard not to spoil anything for myself. So I'm very excited to finally get to play this game. Um, and so yeah, without much further ado, I'm just going to start a new game here and uh, jump right in. Oh wow, that's ominous. So um, yeah, I've played the entire Elder Scrolls series right from the very first game, way back when. And particularly Morrowind and Oblivion, um, which you may have heard of. Uh, both were excellent, and uh, according to everybody I've spoken to, uh, and all the reviews I've seen for Skyrim, this proves to be just as good. So, fingers crossed. Okay, I'm just going to be quiet for a minute here whilst we watch this opening cutscene. Can I look around? Yes, I can. Okay, so it's not a cutscene. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Right. You walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovngarde awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Okay, so we're being hey, executed. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Oh, man. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dibella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Thalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. You look really scared there, buddy. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries we stick. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? We need to go inside the hotel. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa! Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Well, if they're going to lock my head off, they can wait all day. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor. 
Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. <clears throat> no care of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! <laughs> Run. You're not gonna kill me. Archers. Anyone else oh. feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Hmm. Who are you? Wait, you don't even know who I am and you're going to kill me. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so this looks like character creation. Um, now I do have a character concept in mind. I'm going to make a uh, Breton who's going to be slightly older than your your average um, character. Um, and he's going to be uh, specialising in magic, which isn't something I usually do in the Elder Scrolls games. Um, I don't think it's been implemented particularly well um, in the past. But uh, it looks to be a little bit better in this uh, in this latest game, so um, I'm interested in, in actually trying it. So um, let's see. I'm going to start with hair, which is a little bit backwards, I know, but it's what's going to sort of add the age to this character, I think. So let's see what options we've got here. I'm looking for quite a loose and natural look. That looks quite good. I like that I can um, look around in all directions. It makes it a lot easier to see what I'm going to look like in the um, in the actual game world. Proper facial hair. Now this is something that I, re I read about. Um, I think the series has been lacking from decent beards um, for a very long time, so it's good to see that they've actually uh, decided to put in proper beards and not just coloration of the chin. <laughs> oh wow. Now that is a proper bird. <laughs> you know, I think where we've got birds finally, I'm going to go for an epic bird. Um, just makes him look a little bit older as well. Maybe not, maybe not quite just yet, but when I, uh, hopefully I can find a, yeah, there we go, a sort of grey, elderly, silvery bird make him look a bit older. Okay, so he's already looking quite old at the moment. Um, now I'm just going to sort of go through the rest of the motions to make him look a bit weathered. So um, I should explain that I uh, I like to quite heavily um, get into character with these games. Um, so I'll have my character concept and uh, stick to it. So where this guy is quite uh, quite old and, and frail, you won't see him running around in armour or wielding heavy weapons like great axes and great swords and things. In fact, he probably won't be able to swing much more than a dagger. Um, but that's okay because he's going to be a mage, or at least I, uh, I hope so.
and uh, obviously it's also going to be um, relying on stealth and guile to get by um, so you probably won't see him charging into the fray because uh, against fit Nordic warriors he's not really going to stand a chance is he so it's going to be a little bit more sneaky ah eyebrows okay so I'm going to look for <laughs> some quite bushy eyebrows here find some slightly more wrinkled eyes. They're pretty good. Looks like he might have been quite handsome once upon a time. That looks pretty good. quite happy with that. Head. Complexion. Ah, so this is where we can add some wrinkles. I think he's looking fairly uh, wise and old there. What I uh, really like about this latest game is that 
you don't specialise in, in major and minor skills from, from what I've read. Um, as far as I understand it, you um, level up your, your skills as you, as you would normally, but then you can choose to put points into, into whatever you want to, um, which means you can sort of be quite broad in specialising in quite a few things, or you can really specialise in one thing um, to make it really powerful. Um, which gives a lot of options really and makes quite a dynamic character which I'm, I'm looking forward to especially for me is I won't I'm not necessarily looking to make the most powerful character um, that I can I'm, I'm looking to make quite a, an interesting character who will have flaws um, things like not wearing armor or um, wielding weapons bigger than a dagger or a, sh a short sword for example um, he also won't be able to uh, use a bow uh, I doubt he has the arm strength to to, to pull a bow. Um, let's see if we can actually make him a little bit more frail. Uh, skin tone. I do want him to be quite pale. And yeah, pretty frail as well. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, he looks like uh, what I envisioned my character to look like, which is brilliant, um, which is a good start. I'm really glad that we can uh, have decent facial hair and make quite an old character. Um, so uh, I'm done with this. Let's see if we can name him. Name. Let's see if I click done, is that going to... Ah, no, there we go. That's fine. Let's call him Ionidas. Are you from Daggerfall, Breton? Mm -hmm. Fleeing from some court intrigue? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. Well, that hardly seems fair. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to High Rock. Follow the captain, prisoner. Do I have to walk? Oh, no. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. No, that doesn't sound good. It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, Blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's eight get divines. I thought there were nine. Wish. Come on, I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? It's going to hurt in the morning. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Breton! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next, prisoner! To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. Now it's my turn. Good morning. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you <laughs> see? It's in the cloud. Dragon! Oh man. Oh, 
that's all kicking off now. Okay, so it looks like I've got control of my uh, character now. So I'm just going to follow this guy. Here. Get inside! What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move now! Up through the tower. Let's go! Alright, you don't have to tell me twice. Another second out there. We just need to move some of the birds. Whoa! Wait, you want me to jump? We'll I can't jump that. I'm just an old man. Oh, here goes. Find General Tolius and join the defense. Gods guide you, Hadvar. Stay close to the wall. Quickly, follow me. Looks like I could have followed the um, the other guy there, but uh, I decided to follow this guy as he's got me this far. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? The bring us of the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. Okay, so it looks like I've um, got use of my hands now. Look around. Um, you better get some gear. Which is good. See if one of these. I don't have time to read any problem. books at the moment. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look on. I'm hoping there's going to be a uh, you better get some a gear. dagger or something. You see, here's a sword that I could use, but I'm not going to. Got to be a sword or two in one of these chests. Look around. So, um, it looks like I don't really have much of a choice. Um, you better get that armor off. Give that sword a few swings, too. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. So I'm not going to equip the armor uh, or the sword.
even though he's told me to. Come on, this way. Which might prove to be my undoing, but hopefully we don't come across anything that can kill us down here. Just give me a minute. I'm out of breath. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Yeah, that would be for the best. Is someone there? If you want to die, so be. Uh. Kill me. <laughs> so, uh, I'm starting to regret the decision not to uh, take a sword. But I'm hoping my friend here can um, take him on. say about that. Um, let's say that was a uh, testosterone fueled moment of fury. <laughs> it was pretty cool though. Okay, so more equipment that I can't use. Though I might just take a sword. Just a block with, because it doesn't look like I'm going to be um finding a, uh, a dagger or anything anytime soon. And I don't really want to be using magic down here. It's a little bit of time just figuring out how the magic works, so Damn, that I'll do that um, what do you after do this sort of tutorial you section, I think. These Imperials have potions in here. We're going to need them. Right, how do I equip this sword? Magic weapons. Weapons. Oh, what does that mean? Ah, right. Okay, so that's which hand I have it in, because I can mix and match weapons and, and magic in my left and right hand. Okay, I'm just going to put it in my right hand for now. Let's see if I can help this guy out a bit. Go on, finish him off. Let's see if I can sneak around the back. And Some of the um, battle animations are uh, really, really good and uh, quite brutal from the looks of things. Okay, so I'm looking for potions. There's one. Minor healing, that'll be useful. Magic stamina. Salt pile. some wine. If I get out of this alive, I'm uh, going to be doing some celebrating, I think. Ooh, breakfast. Take a couple of eggs. Done then. This way. Yep. Lead on, Hadavar. The torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need these. 
hear that. You on my side? happened along just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I'd been entertaining their comrades. Don't you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Halgen. A dragon? Please, don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Forget the old man. I'll come with you. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. Poor fellow screamed for weeks. See if you can get it open with some picks. We'll need everything we can get. Okay. Sure. Take all I'll do my that. things. Ah, right, okay, so this looks like the um, same sort of lockpicking minigame as you get in um, Fallout. Let's see if I can... Oh, nearly. Gotcha. Excellent. Ah, mage. Oh, that's useful. Just... Sorry. Spell tone sparks. I'll take that. I think I'll um equip those robes actually. Now um it's a shame that I don't have the uh, appearance thing here, so I can't see what I. Uh, I look like as I'm equipping things, but I suppose I can go into third person. How do I rotate? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Now it looks like I just got a new spell from that um, book, so I'm just going to take a look at magic whilst I'm here. So I've got flames, which looks like the just a basic fire attack. Conjuration, conjure a familiar, uh, basic healing spell, powers. Ah, okay, so this is my racial powers. Um, dragon skin, I guess, is racial to a Breton. And then my active uh, effects. Okay, so those robes and hood are um, fortifying my magicka and regenerating my magicka. Okay, that's good. And also giving me a bit of resistance to magic. Okay. Right, so I am going to now... Hang on, where's that new spell that I got? What was it called? Sparks or something? Okay, so how do I learn that? No. Oh, okay. So now that should be in my destruction list. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's a spell similar to the flames spell, but with... Um, shock damage instead of fire and also seems to drain magicka as well okay well that's useful um, I think what I'm gonna do is equip flames in my left hand and keep my sword in my right hand for the minute just so I can attack with some fire and then um, defend myself although no I suppose I can't block with the with a sword if, I've got, if I'm dual wielding but anyway, we'll see how that goes. Is there a quick slot? How do I set that up? Um, favorite F. 
one in game, press Q to open the favorites menu which allows you to quickly use it. Okay, so that's how I do that. Right, okay, so there's my flame spell. pretty cool. Nice. Okay, let's see what we've got here then. Oh, a dagger. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, I'm going to um, swap my uh, sword for a dagger. I'm just going to favourite that as well. Ah, that's much better. Okay. So what's in here? Mace and a shield that I can't use. Or another dagger. Oh, no, it's daggers all over the place. Lockpick. Okay. Right, I feel a little bit more um, no equipped and prepared now. Going? I'm glad to be out of that place. I hope this leads somewhere. All right, you follow me then. You coming? What are you waiting for? Do you want me to speak to this guy or something? Leave me to my work, unless you plan to stay and help. Fair enough. All right. I don't know what he's waiting for. Who are you? Worry about yourself. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. I'm a little bit concerned that um, Hadavar's not coming. But, um, looks like he's on his way. I'll follow him instead. Supposed to go. Where's the way out? Yeah, it sounds like he's coming now. Ah, there he is. Welcome to the party, my friend. I'm sorry for setting on fire. Archers okay, so we close that distance quickly. Now that looks like oil on the floor. I wonder if I can. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. You win, I submit. Not today. Okay, so so far so good. Let's see where this goes. Uh, 
have to say I am really um, enjoying the sort of atmosphere and the, the ambience of the um, of the dungeon so far. I mean the lighting is brilliant. I'm loving the way that we can see like dust hanging in the uh, in the air from the light above and things. The shadows are really good. Um, and it just looks a lot more organic than the uh, heck. It just looks a lot more organic than um, say uh, Oblivion did, which tended to look a little bit a little bit bland. <coughs> But here we can see sort of moss growing on the roof and I'm loving the fact that we can see like water running down here and the light filtering from the roof. It all just looks really good. It's very immersive. Come on, this hmm, what's up here? Wait there, had a bar. I'm just gonna go for a, a quick explore. coin purse. Okay, that looks like everything. still hear that dragon then um, flying around above us. Ah, uh, that doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way. Yes, so. Spiders. Oh. What next? The giant snakes. Oh, don't say that. Oh, so it looks like we can still um, apply poison to um, weapons, which is excellent. and slow and watch where you step and if you're feeling lucky control. you can take this boat might take it by surprise go ahead I'll follow your lead and watch your back well, send me in first hey that seems fair okay well he suggested that um, we either sneak by it or I assume try and attack it with a bow, which obviously I'm not going to do, so I'm just going to try and sneak past this bear here. I assume I'm heading up there. Or is it that way? That doesn't look like it leads anywhere, so I'm just going to go down this way first. Uh-oh. Is it seen us? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. 
I'm leaving. Telling me. Let's go see what's up here. Nothing by the looks of things. I don't know what that was. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. To Skyrim. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. I agree. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's a blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Okay. So, uh, I guess this is where the adventure really begins. Um... Now we're outside, taking my first steps into Skyrim. So, first things first, I'm just going to check my journal. Hadvar suggested that I head to the nearby town of Riverwood. His uncle is the blacksmith there and should be able to help me. Okay, that seems like a pretty good idea. Um, I want to um, see if I can get some new equipment, maybe get some gold together and perhaps find uh, some new spells and things, join the Mages Guild, um, there might be one in, in Riverwood. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do that in the next part. This seems like a good place to end the first part of this Let's Play video. So you, if you've enjoyed it so far, um, be sure to subscribe, and um, then you'll know when the next part will be up, which will be very soon. Um, I'm just going to take a short break before... Um, getting back into it. So uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.